Members of an NGO devoted to raising awareness of China's exclusion of Taiwan from the World Health Assembly departed for Geneva yesterday to protest outside the WHO offices ahead of the Assembly's opening on May 21st. Even though Taiwan was not invited to take part in the WHO's governing forum due to China's blockade, many countries have voiced their support for Taiwan's participation as an observer. For Taiwan. Loudly shouting slogans, members of the Taiwan United Nations Alliance departed Taiwan for Geneva to protest outside WHO headquarters ahead of the World Health Assembly. The alliance has protested in Geneva for 15 consecutive years. Since so many countries, including the US, Japan, Canada and European Union, have all passed resolutions supporting Taiwan's participation in the WHA, we hope the Legislative UN in the next few days will pass a resolution as soon as possible, supporting Taiwan's inclusion in the WHO. Tsai came well prepared. He did not only take along promotional materials in four different languages, but also a letter addressed to the WHO's Director General, Dr Tedros Adenholm. He also thinks President Tsai Ing-wen should hold an international press conference in Taiwan. Because of China's ruthless suppression, its brutal suppression, we need even more Taiwanese people and the President of the Taiwanese government to hold an international press conference and express the voices of the people of Taiwan. The voices of affirmation from various countries are increasing. This time, we too have obviously gained more momentum, whether it is our WHO awareness raising group or other NGOs. Not only are Taiwanese NGOs working hard to speak up for Taiwan. In the US, a group of 172 members of the House of Representatives and another bipartisan group of 13 senators have written joint letters to the WHO Director General stating that Taiwan should not be excluded from the World Health Body.